What is going on everybody? In today's video, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video, we are going to be comparing three of the main crossbows in old school RuneScape. Those crossbows are the Rune Crossbow, the Dragon Crossbow, and the Armadil Crossbow. We're going to talk about their DPS and which one is actually the best value for you. Now there's a lot of people out there that just play the game as it is and they see the Armadil Crossbow and they're like, wow, that one's expensive. It must be really good. And then there's some people that actually understand the inner workings of the game and how DPS works and bonuses. So I'm going to do my best to try to show you a visual representation of what these crossbows can do for you. All right, so let's start out with some basic statistical comparisons. The first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the rune crossbow. Now the rune crossbow is your most basic crossbow for higher end PVM activities. With the Rune Crossbow, it is going to give you a ranged attack bonus of plus 90. Next up is going to be the Dragon Crossbow, which is a little bit higher tiered, but really not by much. Its attack bonus only increases by 4, pushing it up to 94 for the ranged attack bonus. And our last crossbow that we're going to take a look at is going to be the Armadil Crossbow. This one actually gives you a prayer bonus of plus 1, which is slightly beneficial but the range attack bonus increases by 10 over the rune crossbow and six over the dragon crossbow up to plus 100. So what does this all mean? Well, your attack bonus is actually correlating to your opponent's defense level. That is what your attack bonus means. Your attack bonus means how often you are going to hit based on your target's defense level. And if you're wondering about range damage, well, range damage is what causes you to hit higher numbers when you're shooting each of those bolts. The only thing that contributes to damage is going to be the style of bolt or dart that you're using because each successive tier increases the damage and also your range level. As far as the attack bonus goes, the only thing that's going to increase your attack bonus is the type of gear that you're wearing as well as your peripherals. Now for this video, I'm actually going to use these skeletal wyverns as a baseline comparison for each of these crossbows. Now obviously the dragon hunter crossbow is going to be the best in slot crossbow at the skeletal wyverns, but it is very expensive. So for those of you out there that can't afford this and you're looking to buy a crossbow and see which one may be uh, very beneficial for you, if you can't afford that 100 mil plus item, well this video is going to explain that. On the screen now is the gear that I'm going to be using as my baseline gear. Now this is something that you will see very commonly at these skeletal wyverns or some sort of variation with this. As for the gear, I'm going with the Guthix Dehyde set, which does include everything but the Vambraces. We're going to replace those with Barrow's Glows because you definitely want to use those over Vambraces. Ava's Assembler, that does require Dragon Slayer too but I think it's a good comparison to have. Diamond Bolt's E is going to be the weapon, or I'm sorry, the ammunition of choice. We're also going to throw a Book of Law in there because you can safe spot the Wyverns after they become unaggressive. Once you aggro one, you can move to your spot, switch to the Book of Law, get a little bit more range attack bonus, and an Archer's Ring imbued. For most people, this setup is pretty easily affordable. All right, so let's get into what this video is all about, and that's going to be the statistics of each of these crossbows and which one is the best value for you. So we're going to start again with the rune crossbow, and I am going to be using that gear that I just showed you guys as the baseline for all of these. I'm also going to be calculating this with level 99 range, but not using rigor or eagle eye. This is skeletal wyvern, so most of the time it's going to be AFK money making, and you're just going to be standing there just shooting range bolts for hours on end. So as for the rune crossbow, cost only 9,500 GP, very good value. DPS, 3.42, your kills per hour is going to be 53, and that is assuming you're staying there camping, and your income per hour is 714,000, and that is minus the bone cost. I did not include the bones in there, since obviously you're not going to be picking those up and banking them. Now, on to the dragon crossbow. Cost of the dragon crossbow is 1.95 million GP. Uh, substantially more expensive than the rune crossbow, but still very easily affordable for most people in the game. DPS is only going to increase by 0.03, increasing your kills per hour by only one. Your income per hour increases to 728,000. Now as for the cost making that up, because of the cost difference between the dragon crossbow and the rune crossbow, once you upgrade from that, you're going to need to spend about two and a half to three hours making that cost back up from the rune crossbow to the dragon crossbow. But that's not that bad. Two and a half to three hours, very easily doable. 
Last is going to be the Armadil crossbow. Current cost right now is 37.2 million GP. Now it has spiked recently because of the announcement earlier this week or last week from the time of this video that the blowpipe was getting a nerf, but we still don't know about that. So at the current time, the cost is 37.2 million GP. DPS, only 3.5. It's only 0.08 better than the rune crossbow, but it costs 37 million more GP. Kills per hour, 55. Two better than the rune crossbow. As for your income per hour, 741,000. So you're only making about 27,000 GP more with an armadil crossbow over the rune crossbow with a huge cost difference of 37 million GP. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it really seems like this is where the rebalancing needs to come from, from these past talked about nerfs and whatnot. So crossbows obviously need a rebalance. Now back to what I just talked about a couple minutes ago. The rune crossbow cost is only 9,500 GP. Moving up to the dragon crossbow from there and its cost, you're only gonna spend about two and a half to three hours making the money back for that dragon crossbow to be back where you were. As for the jump from the dragon crossbow to the armadil crossbow, you're looking at anywhere between 48 to 49 hours of just camping the wyverns to get back to where you were. Now, you might be thinking, well, you do make a little bit more per hour and it will add up over time. Yes, that is true, but you are spending a whole lot of money to move up for just 0 0.05 DPS. I mean, you can look at it the way you want, but in my personal opinion, your best valued crossbow is actually going to be the Dragon Crossbow. It puts it right in the middle of both of these for a very affordable price for mid-level and even high-level accounts that just need something to get by. Now you could also make the argument, well I can just sell it back when I'm done with it. Well, yes you can, but what, what have we just learned from updates from Jagex and balancing changes? We never know when they're going to look at something and be like, well guys, uh, this has been the same for five years, why don't we change it? Why don't we give it a big old nerf? So then that happens and then you could possibly lose millions of GP that you've spent making that crossbow. Who knows, the Armadil crossbow could tank down to 15 million GP at any time, and then how much money are you out right there? About 22 million, just as a scenario, if that were to happen. So guys, once again, the Dragon crossbow is going to be your best value for DPS compared to cost. And this is also going to be attributed to the Dragon crossbow's ability to also use Dragon bolts. The Armadale crossbow can do that too, but for the huge price tag and the minimal DPS increase, it is not worth spending your hard-earned GP to move up. The Dragon crossbow is going to do you very well all across the game, whether it be at Skeletal Wyverns or Brutal Black Dragons, or if it's your only option to use somewhere like the Chambers of Zarek. You're still going to be able to use those Dragon bolts over the Adamant or Rune bolts, whatever you're using. So, Consider this video when you are going out and thinking that an armadil crossbow might be worth the money. I can tell you right here from the calculations of this video that it is absolutely not worth that huge price tag for that minimal DPS increase. So guys, I hope that this video has informed you about the types of crossbows out there and helped you make a decision on whether you should immediately dump your armadil crossbow or keep it because the dragon crossbow is going to be just as good. Your next best option after the dragon crossbow in most scenarios is going to be the twisted bow based on the target's magic level and at the current time the blowpipe is still viable literally everywhere until that nerf happens. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up down below, and if you could, tap that subscribe button on your way out, helps support the channel, helps grow the channel, and, well, all your support means a lot to me, guys. And if you want to support the channel in a greater way, you can become a channel member by joining the channel. This will give you exclusive access to community member-only posts as well as in-game events with me. Once again, everybody, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.